hi guys you welcome to my channel so today we are going to be looking at uh, this trigonometry exponential equation you must have seen this question before it's not a new question i just feel like doing it uh doing it with you uh so though if you have seen it before you might see that probably this one is not two maybe it's 81 or it can take any other figure uh, but you are going to have this to be sine square x and this can be cos square x. Now, how do we approach this question? Very simple. All we want to achieve is that to make these trigonometric ratios, instead of 2, we should have 1. What do I mean? That is, instead of having sine, we should express it as a cos. Or instead of as a, having cos, we should express it as a sine. So how do we go about that? Very simple. So we'll recall. From trigonometry identity, cos square x plus sine square x equal 1. Now, irrespective of the quadrant that x might belong to, this equation will always be true. So, if that should be the case, let us substitute for what? Sine. You can decide to substitute for cos. It's fine. So, let's substitute for sine. Sine square x is going to be 1 minus uh, cos square x. So anywhere we find sine square x, we can put 1 minus cos square x there. And that will make this one become 2 to the power of 1 minus cos square x plus 2 to the power of uh, cos square x equal 3. Now, uh, from the law of indices, this can be written as 2 divided by 2 to the power of cos square x plus 2 to the power of uh, cos square x equal 3. So you let, since 2 to the power of cos square x is common, we let it equal to p. So we'll say let 2 to the power of cos square x equal to p. So anyone will find it, we can put p there. We therefore have 2 all over p plus p equal 3. So from here right now, we can then, what, clear the fraction by multiplying 2 by p. So if you do that, you're going to have 2 plus p square equal 3p. So this would be p square minus 3p plus 2 equal 0. So we can then what? Use uh, what is equal for this. We can then factorize this now. So we're going to be having p square minus p minus 2p plus 2 equal 0. So p is common here, yeah? factorize it out, then you have p minus p, sorry, p minus 1, then minus 2 into p minus 1 equal 0. So pick what is outside, pick one of the brackets and pick what is outside the bracket. So we have p minus 1 and p minus 2 to be the factor, and that equals to 0. So this results to p equal 1 or P equal 2. So we can then recall that uh, 2 to the power of cos square x is equal to P. And that means 2 to the power of uh, cos square x is equal to 1. Or you say 2 to the power of cos square x equal to 2. So if this is what we have right now, then we can then find the value for x. So, you know, anything that raised to power of 0 can give us a 1. So, we have 2 to the power of cos square x to equal 2 to the power of 0. And this makes uh, cos square x to equal to 0. Therefore, uh, cos x is equal to 0. So, if cos x is equal to 0, then we can find the value for x. So, x is going to be the arc cos of 0, and that will give us uh, pi over 2. But is this the only solution? So if pi over 2, what about if the circle go more than 1? So you have pi over 2 if you consider that the circle goes once. If, you, if the circle goes more than 1, then the value of x is going to be pi over 2 multiplied by the odd product. That is, uh, let's say, uh, when I say odd product, that is uh, multiple of 3, multiple of 5, multiple of 7, you always have it to be the value for x. So these are the all values of x that can give us uh, 0, not just pi over 2. I hope you get that. 
So we'll move on to the next one, which is 2 to the power of cos square x equal to 2. And that means that uh, cos square x is equal to 1. And if cos square x is equal to 1, then you have that cos x is plus or minus 1. So if that should be the case, then you can say uh, x is going to be the even product. So this is going to be pi. That is the arc cos of x is going to be what? Pi for the first one. And this is going to result to the even product of uh, even product of uh, pi so x can equal to 2k multiplied by what pi so for x equals to minus uh, minus 1 you are going to have this to be x equal the odd product of uh, pi so we have this right now so i decided to use m so that you are not going to mistake it for what we have here understand so these are the values for hex. I hope you understand this and I hope you enjoyed it. So see you tomorrow. Hmm? Uh.